Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and it has been a while. I think my last video was back in April. I might say I've been on vacation. I might say I've been working hard. I might say I've been goofing off and not doing anything at all. All of those could be true. Probably so. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about a few things. I hope that you all survived uh, the big Python update. I know that caused me a, a lot of trouble, but I was able to get through it. And um, it took a lot, but I should have done a video. I really should have, but I didn't. And, but I want to talk about real quick today is something a little bit less important, but still nonetheless might be able to help somebody out. After I was doing a world update recently, um, VLC was crashing on me and it would not build. And I'm thinking, what would cause this to suddenly not work? So I started doing some research and lo and behold, something popped up. If we look at a Gen 2 discussion that is actually from February of 2018 and the subject is VLC won't compile solved. Now this is pretty much what I was seeing as well and it died every time I would try it. I tried a few different things to make it work and then what I found out was many thanks for this. This works for anyone else experiencing this. You need to emerge a one time libebml. Now, for some reason, when the whole GC got updated, that file or that program, for some reason, did not get recompiled. At least that's what I'm assuming is the issue. Because the only fix that seemed to work, and it did, was to go ahead and recompile that one program. It was installed. If we look here, for instance, I already had version 1.35 of libebml. It says here for the description, and yeah, it's it's Greek to me, of course. It just, no, it, it works, you know. It works. Extensible binary format library. Kind of like XML. <laughs> well, as long as it functions, that's all that's important to me. I reinstalled that using the dash one. Now, if you're not familiar with dash one, a dash one will install it one time, does not put it into your world file. A good thing to remember is if it is a dependency of a main application, you do not want to have that inside of your world. Therefore, you never want to do an emerge well, let's make this bigger so it you know, seem better. You would, yeah, a little bit bigger. You'd never want to do it like an emerge dash AV and then lib EV PML. What that will do, A is of course for ask, V for verbose, but that will put it into your world file. And when you put something into your word, world file, every time your system gets updated, it looks into the world to see if it needs to update that particular program. Now, if it's listed in the world, then it will attempt to update it. The problem with that is a dependency may not have been built or it may have been upgraded. And while the dependency has been upgraded, all the programs that use that dependency are still relying on the older version. It's up to the programmer, the developer of said application, to then change their programming in their next version to accept the newer versions of the dependency. So it's more important that your main application like GIMP or VLC or just anything that you're building you want it to call the dependency it needs, not the dependency being updated because you accidentally put it in the world file. And that's why it's really important that you do a one, that's not an L, but a dash one, and then lib ebml. Once I did that, everything was super 
VLC emerged proper and I had no more trouble. Now you might be saying, now DOS, uh, what were you talking about Python? Well, if we do an E select and uh, just, we'll just do that for now. And we go into news and list. This killed me about a month or two ago. It was number 28 for me that came out May 22nd, Python 3.6 becomes the default. Now if you read this, you select news read 28, well, it could be different for you, and we look at this, there's a lot of stuff that it's talking about. And it's saying here that 3.6 will replace Python 3.5 as the default. Now, when I did this, I should have, when I saw that, taken care of doing a few things almost immediately to prepare for this update. I did not. I was a bad Gen 2 user. Slap me on the hand, let me tell you. Because when they actually went to this on 622, and they gave me a whole month to know better. <laughs> oh, my. More I think about it, oh, I should have paid more attention. People, when you see news articles, pay attention to them because sometimes it's really important. Had I done some prep work, had I done some of this stuff here, uh, cleaned up a little bit, that would have made the eMERGE world that I did around the 23rd or 22nd so much better for me. Instead, I had a lot of pain to clean up a lot of stuff. I had to do... Uh, some kind of backtracking like this right here if you'd like to postpone the switch to Python 3.6 you can copy the content value blah 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 so I ended up having to do this so that I could just get everything updated properly and then once I got everything updated properly I was able to slowly take a few baby steps and then I'll change a few things so that it then uses the new Python 3.6 or 3 underscore 6, however you want to say it. Anyway, I know people, this is water under the bridge. You're saying, Doss, that was a month and a half ago. I fixed it without your help. I know, and I hope you all did fix it because it was a massive headache for me. Anyway, I don't have my webcam up. I could bring it up. I don't feel like it though. But I have been wanting to do a video for a short time, a long time. Time goes by. One day leaves, the next day comes, the next thing you know, it's all gone. I'm rambling. <laughs> Gen 2 is still my baby. I know, I think one of the last things that I did talk about was that on my little uh, laptop that I had put LFS on was running. I was going to wipe it and put Ubuntu. It probably scared a few of you guys. Oh my goodness. Doss said he was going to put Ubuntu and then he disappeared forever because it's been four, mm, three months <laughs> since he did a video. And the last thing he said was Ubuntu, here I come or something to that effect. <laughs> nah, I did put Ubuntu on there with the 1804. It, it worked well. I ended up, of course, uh, ripping out GNOME, throwing i3 on there immediately because ah, I just can't stand a GUI interface that much anymore. I really prefer to, uh, the window manager for i3. i3 is just it for me. But since then, my wife's laptop has not been working well, so I ended up having to set it back up so that she could use that machine. So I kind of lost my test machine for operating systems until we can afford to save some money and get something new for her and then I can get some of my test machines back. So that's all I'll talk about today. I'll make this short. If it's morning, evening, noon or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. I never will promise anything, but I will try to do some more videos, talk about some more subjects. I know that it's always good when I run into problems myself that I think that there are probably others out there that are running into the same problem. And it is helpful if I can 
show what I have found and if there is a solution yeah, that fixes it it's good to share it it's always good to share so again morning evening noon or night whatever you're having enjoy it we'll talk with you later guys bye